How you doing guys? This is Mark from Cars and Cameras and today we're going to take a quick look at a at a lens that I've been wanting to test for a long time. You know, it's been out for a little while now and it also comes as a kit lens on a very high-end uh, Sony uh, professional uh, camcorder system. And this is the Sony uh, uh, PZ28-135 f4 all the way through a professional cinema lens. So let's uh, take a quick look at the lens. Uh, you can see here this is the lens hood and it comes with this really nice uh, cap that goes on the lens and let's turn it to the side here so we can look at the features I have the camera mounted on a uh, a7s mark II and I gotta tell you that this lens was made for the a7s mark II it is a stunning piece of glass if you've been thinking about getting this lens if you've been like trying to read about it and find out like will it work on this camera it was made for this camera, okay? And the really interesting thing is the uh, Super 35 camera that it comes that, that it comes with as a kit lens is, you know, this is a full frame 28 to 135 lens and it was made for full frame. And I, and I think Sony's thinking on it was that really that this is a lens that you want to use with uh, on the a7s and um, it came out sometime after I think the a7s uh, or it might have actually I think it was out, maybe it was out before that but um, it is a stunning stunning lens it is you can see it's not Zeiss it's the Sony G G series and um, let's look at the features so here you have your um, your uh, focusing ring that's the one up front and right now um, it is set to autofocus with um, a manual focus override so basically you can when you're set to autofocus on the camera you can manually override the focus by turning this knob here now a really cool thing is you know unlike uh, some of the other Sony lenses when you want to use them unlike diving into like setting the camera to uh, 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 to manual focus here you can quickly do it right here watch this you just pull it back now the camera is in full manual focus and I turn this knob and I have full manual focus with the camera now here's another cool thing about like I said this is a cinema lens and the difference is when you're focusing on something well let me just show you a lot of times with a lot of these uh, still lenses that you're using on the camera and I would say a lot of the other Sony FE lenses you know the distance that you throw the focus is very short okay so you know if you were uh, you know filming something and say you have uh, uh, you know one person sitting directly in front of you and one person that's say you have two people that are sitting across from each other at a table and um, you want to focus on you know one person you know and then go to the other person well on a still lens your throw is going to be really short well on a lens like this you're going to have a, you know the turn is going to be a little bit more it's going to be a little bit longer okay so it's going to be it's going to you're going to the throw is going to be a little bit a little bit a little bit larger okay as i guess what i want what i want to say and a lot of people you know and the cinema lenses are like that too the the, the high-end cinema glass that you use you know you're going to turn this more than you would normally just making little minute adjustments and it really is easier on a lens like this to pull focus where you can do those turns like that it just is and you know that's what sets this lens apart from you know the still lenses and the other lenses you might use because like I said you know you're just making these really minute adjustments but here you know you're gonna you're gonna throw the focus a bit to make adjustments it's uh, it's magnified quite a bit more and that's one thing right there that you know for me, you know, using professional equipment, that it it's just it's more precise and it's just it's it it, it it just feels like with a lens like this that you're just not playing games anymore and you really have a professional piece of equipment. So, moving on to the next thing, the next ring is this is actually a zoom control and um, you can set it to uh, servo or manual and how it works right now the camera is set to servo and what that does is our power zoom controls are run off of this part here but if you set it to manual where you set the knob here now you can manually zoom the lens 
um, from one direction to the other. So from 135 to 2.8. And um, there is a motor in there that does this. This is not a mechanical uh, knob. This is electronic. So when you first swing it like that, and you do like a quick swing like that, there's a little bit of a lag. It is pretty fast. It's faster than using this control by a little bit. Um, also, there's a pin here that comes, I have it off because it gets in the way, uh, um, that's in the box. So you can put it on there. So if you wanna like, you know, do like quick swings if you're shooting music videos or what have you, you can do that. So let's move on to the next ring. So your next ring here is the aperture ring. And right now it's set to automatic. And I'm gonna explain that in a minute. So let's go over here to the camera and I kind of fire it up. The camera is in manual mode at the moment right now. And uh, the reason why I have it in manual mode is to show you how the controls will work. So let's take a look at that right now and uh, we'll show you. So let's just set this up real quick. Okay, there we go. And um, let me get that there. Okay, very good. Just kind of line that up a little bit. Okay, so right now the camera is set to 1 50th of a second at f4. And, um, but I want to show you something. So. We know that this knob on the back, okay, the way I have my camera set up, this is set to shutter speed, so you can see there. We want it at 1 50th of a second, and then the front knob here, okay, below the, the still shutter button, is you can go ahead and you can control, you can change your aperture, okay? If, I'm gonna, if I go ahead and turn this aperture off of automatic, you can go ahead and control it here. So you see how it's changing, f5, 6.3, f8. So, you can go ahead and change your aperture on the fly, okay, with your left hand while you're shooting with your right hand. You can do the same thing here with your finger if you want, but it makes it a little easier. And another thing is um, I've been using the lens with the uh, tripod collar. I've had it off for, when I first got it, I took it off because I thought this is just too much. And um, recently I've put it back on and I like the way it kind of cradles my palm as I go ahead and adjust these controls here. So, you know, whatever is easier for you. Um, I gotta say that this lens was really made for this camera. Uh, it just, you know, basically, this really gives you optimum results with the 4K capability of the A7S Mark II, obviously with the 2K capability of the, uh, uh, I'm sure it'll work equally as well with the A7R II or the A7R or the uh, A7S. But right now we're talking about the A7S Mark II. And if you have this camera, I gotta tell you, this is the lens you gotta get. It is just fantastic. Now, you're looking at this lens, you know, uh, Walking around town, it, it does have quite a professional look to it, but if you want to go a little more low profile, you can go ahead and take this and turn this, and we're gonna go ahead and take that lens hood off, okay? So you can see now you have a, that takes a, quite a bit of the bulk away from the lens. Now, by doing that, you're gonna to wanna, to, uh, right now obviously I don't have any protection on the front of the lens, so obviously this offers quite a bit of protection. Um, you know, I've been running around testing the lens without the, uh, with the lens hood on and it offers you some protection. Um, also, I've been using uh, a couple of different uh, ND filters. Um, you, that's the one thing about this lens, it is a 95 millimeter thread. So, 90, uh, so uh, uh, ND filters are gonna be uh, a little on the expensive side, but you can find them. You can also find variable ND filters. Um, you can also set this camera up, you know, using a matte box and using, you know, standard, uh, uh, you know, fil you know, standard ND filters for that system if you want to, but then you're just adding to the bulk. For me, you know, I like portable equipment and I don't like to go too crazy, so this is the this is the way I like to show it. Let me show you the uh, just some of the other knobs here while I'm we're still with you. And so here we have the optical steady shot. You can turn it on or off. Um, only time you'd ever want to turn it off, obviously, is if you had the camera on a tripod, so you would turn that off. Um, the steady shot on the camera is phenomenal. It works very, very well. So the next thing I want to show you is how this power zoom works. And um, how this works is basically is you can zoom it from here on the camera. So let me set this all the way out. I just want to show you a quick, a quick demo of that. And the cool thing is now with the zoom rocker on the camera, if you zoom it all the way, it's just gonna take you to 135, the, 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 the tightest end of the lens. But a really cool thing that this lens does, and uh, you know, like I said, a lot of people don't talk about this because they're just not lenses that do it, but Sony has perfected with their consumer line this 
uh, what's called clear image zoom. And I know what you're thinking, oh, okay, it's a digital manipulation. No, it's really something that Sony's been working on for a long time. And I'm telling you, with this lens at 1.5 power, you cannot tell the difference. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And with this lens in full frame mode, you can actually go all the way up to uh, two times power. So how that works is, I'm going to go ahead and show you here. So you have to be on servo, so you're controlling the power zoom from here. But when you do that, here, let me show you something. Let me see if we can focus there. So let me see if I can get it in there. And you can see, so right now you can see we're at 84, 94. I'm going to widen it out so you can see where we're at. Or anything. So, so there's 28. Okay. And then we're going to take it all the way up. And just take it right to 135. Okay, so there's 135, and you can see right there. Now, past that, you can see we're going to go into clear image zoom. So when we do that, you can see now I'm going to take it up to a little bit more, and you can see I've now I've taken it to 1.5 power. But what you can do is you can go all the way up to 2.0. Okay, so what you have here is this is a 2x zoom, clear image zoom shot. And I'm now zooming at the slowest setting on the camera and you can see me zooming out with the power zoom and we're going to zoom all the way back out to 135 again and you can see it's a clean image and this was shot very low light i think the uh iso here was somewhere around 15,000 it was really low behind really low light behind the stage and you can see that you got really good results so guys there it is the uh, Sony 28 to 135 PZ f4 all the way through zoom lens, cinema zoom lens, and it's a stunning lens. Again, thanks for uh, checking out the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.